This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the Tesla Model 3. This used to be called the SR Plus, uh, but at least it's the, the rear-wheel drive, 60 kilowatt hour battery, or LFP. So let's just roll the tape here. I'm gonna show you now. So the middle one is the, the current one we are sitting in right now, and the left is the one that, that had slightly different or slower charging curve earlier from March. And then also to the right, we have the one with a smaller battery before this one. And you see that now, if you look at the middle, we have flatter charging curve than before. But then compare that to the right one, and you see that actually with a smaller battery you had even higher power despite having smaller battery uh, but other than that um, yeah by the way it says 58 kilowatt hour could be confusing and then 53 kilowatt hour because I use the net capacity you can actually get out of the battery so uh, because some cars let's say a Mercedes they have a humongous uh, top buffer so that's why it doesn't always make sense to look at uh, the battery so the, the gross capacity so we have to look at the net capacity but again overall and you see that uh, we still have flatter curve and actually at this point could seem like the middle one uh, charges the fastest but uh, the right one has a little lead over yeah it, it has higher state of charge and naturally when you have higher state of charge you will have lower speed but actually we can look at it I'm gonna show you some cool data I start uh, I have yet another spreadsheet no more data I start collecting so it's easy for you guys to look at them not only here but you see anyway that um, right now the the middle charging session uh, seems to be the fastest one out there and I can show you also that the battery temperature uh, is slightly the same okay, maybe it's a little bit warmer it's 1.5 1, 1. degrees warmer than the left side and then the right side rightmost side is also a little bit colder but uh, you know if you've seen the, the charging session for the LG battery those batteries goes up to almost 60 degrees Celsius so actually the LFP battery uh, at least Tesla chose to not heat it up too much I'm not sure why because actually the LFP tends to be able to take lots of beating and yeah you can you can charge it 100%, you can uh, I don't know, expose it for heat and high discharge rate at low state of charge and everything, no problemo. But okay, uh, maybe Tesla figured out that uh, it's pointless to heat it up to 55, 60 degrees because it doesn't want to charge faster. But okay, so right now, okay, okay, the right side is leading. Yeah, well, which, actually, which battery will go to 100% first here? I meant to 90% first. The right side, remember, is smaller. You see 53 kilowatt hour versus 58, but it has a little lead. But you see that right now, uh, when you want to go kind of to 60, 70%, which is more realistic case, then uh, it charges way faster now than before. Well, okay, maybe way, fa way faster might be a little bit ex ex accelerated. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, but anyway, uh, they're 80% on the rightmost, and then the middle is right behind it, and the left one is kind of behind. Uh, but one thing I noticed was that, okay, so the middle one was charging faster initially, but it could seem like towards the end now. Then the left side tends to gain on it, or it tends to charge slightly faster. I'm going to show you guys the data soon. But uh, right now, it seems like the rightmost uh, uh, battery will finish to 90% and first well simply because it's smaller but it still means that the middle one is very decent i have to say yeah not too shabby had the way it charges up there um and then let's see now okay yeah it is okay i don't have any timer here. i forgot to check the timer it would be interesting also to see how many minutes we have uh charged but all right uh there you go 90 percent on the right mode there okay and then uh let's see now how many minutes extra it will take for the middle to reach 90 percent. okay it seems that one minute has passed now roughly uh so it's roughly yeah, yeah, it's yeah, okay. Two minutes, two minutes. Okay, so two minutes slower, but of course, it's a bigger battery, so you have to bear that in mind. And then I actually, on the middle one, I charge past 90% because you will see that we still get decent charging speed. Uh, 29 kilowatt past 90% is not too bad. If you want to go to no man's land and you need to charge more uh, because you have the smaller battery, then still not too bad. Okay, there, and then the left uh, also finish. So, yes, now you guys seen it fairly fast, uh, not too shabby. Well, actually, let me see. Yeah, I can just show. <laughs> I kept charging actually to 100% on the on the middle normally I just stop at 90% but I just want to see how it goes and actually many cars uh, with similar battery sizes 
past 80%, they will actually go dog slow. For example, the Korean cars, you will get only 20 kilowatt, 20, 21, 22 kilowatt past 80%. Here, even at 95%, you still get 21, 22 kilowatt, which is, I mean, maybe it's that the thing I talk about that LFP batteries can take a beating. So even, well, then I stopped for some reason. And here we have a new spreadsheet. So I tried to collect all the data over the years. I have some, uh, yeah, you see, uh, some some charging uh, curves data from uh, different cars. I tried to collect them and here we have the three ones we want to look at and you see that initially um, Let me see. This is the May. Okay, the March May So here you can see that the May is slightly flatter But actually very impressive of the smaller battery how fast they can charge So uh, we just see here most of the batteries I charge to 90% But then some cars I go to 100% you can also see how it was here uh, I stopped at 96% when it was 21 kilowatt you see if you want to go for it You could go to let's say 98% and then past that point. Maybe it's a bit too slow compared to for example fat e-tron here you see how fast they charge there's the other fat e-tron what is this one? Oh, okay model y oh, i actually went to oh yeah okay okay but anyway so um wait wait, wait okay so i have all the, this only this data here but i also made some graphs so here you see that uh, let me see um yeah you see the blue line here well, i guess if you're colorblind you can't see sheet here <laughs> maybe it's wrong a choice of uh, colors but you see that the charging curve is flatter now uh, versus before the red one is the the previous one the 60 kilowatt hour so actually through the over the course wait, can i see values here that's weird oh there, 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 there. Oh, okay oh, okay oh, yeah, okay whatever well, it's kind of confusing right but you see that it charges in flatter and actually flatter than the other one but here is what you also saw that the, the real line here is a smaller battery and it was faster initially but then the blue line has a lo longer so i guess if you would count the kilowatt hour added the blue line should still win so i just wonder if we will ever get even faster charging curve than this but tesla seems to do some increments they they slowly increase the speed as they have more data and again like i always say it's not only tesla that does it other car manufacturer will also do this so at least you see now that tesla makes some progress i also show you with the model y you can i mean if you want to you can just you can just take the data here you can make a copy of it you can do whatever you like it's uh, i just call it this public domain yes <laughs> just like me I'm public domain no you can do whatever I don't have any copyright on this um, and then maybe but it could be good if you want to use this data to refer it to Tesla Bjorn or that I, I was the one testing it uh, because some people might want to know the source of the of the information at least but okay so now you guys see it hmm, is it useful we're getting more and more data here this the my channels becomes more and more data based uh, but that's fine I think it's good that we have more spreadsheet and more tab in the main spreadsheet where I also collect all the results because then it makes it way easier for you to compare different charging curves or different range numbers or weight or acceleration numbers or everything out there even I even made a spreadsheet for uh, for the Sunday driving <laughs> well okay anyway now you guys have seen it huh? and then as always I'm gonna ask do you like this shit? Do you like this shit? <laughs> okay, that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.